Hey, good evening. Star Report on a Monday. And uh, let's start the show off right by acknowledging uh, the U.S. veterans here in America that have served in the armed forces. Thank you for your service, uh, whether you be a man, a woman, uh, transgender, whoever. Uh, thank you for your, uh, your service. All right. Let's get the show started tonight. <clears throat> uh, Monday, I'm kind of kind of charged, but uh, I had a, a slow, draggy day. Slow, draggy day. On the screen, Alpo director issues formal apology. Troy Reed, uh, the director and the producer of the new Alpo documentary, he uh, put out a lengthy video today. <sighs> good guy, good guy, but I just, I'm not sure if it's heartfelt, if he's under pressure. If he's clout chasing, did you see it? What do you think? We're going to put the link right up under the uh, video description. Troy Reed, his uh, IG page is Troy Reed Official. The father of um, Harlem drug dealing documentaries. There he is right there. Good man. Um, and uh, I want to talk about that tonight. That's our main uh, main story off the rip. Second topic, holy smokes, uh, T.I.'s daughter unfollows not just T.I. on Instagram, but the whole family. Is she about to flip like a flapjack on Sunday morning? Is she, is she about to write a book? Is she, is she going to tell us something we don't know? He was touching me. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, allegedly, I don't know. I'm just I'm acting silly. Um, where is she going? Unfollowed the whole damn family up on the gram, huh? Does she want to get out and, uh, you know, do what she wants to do? She's 18 years of age. She's in college. Um, Bullshit Line is going to call in shortly and help me with that story because I want to be sensitive. We're talking about a young female. And uh, is T.I. about to be canceled? The backlash is still going on. This story came out today uh, via People, uh, the website People, and a host of other sites as well. 18-year-old daughter no longer follows him, uh, Tiny Harris, and the whole damn family. Yeah. All right. Also, um, VladTV.com. I want to promote uh, one of my old homies, D. Haven. You guys should know him from uh, the Marcy Projects in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, former associate and longtime friend of Jay-Z's. His uh, first interview was posted today. I hooked that up for him. I reached out to Vlad, and um, at first, D. Haven wasn't sure if he wanted to, you know, to do it. And I, I somewhat sort of convinced him. And the reason why I'm saying that is because um, he's in a great place. And for those of you who do watch that interview, he's smiling. He's, he, he's, he's enjoying life. But um, I want to help him get a producer, if someone's in the Brooklyn area, uh, that wants to help him with a podcast. He's done enough interviews, and the Vlad TV interview is... One of the last ones he's going to do for right now, but he wants to do a podcast. I think he should do something similar to how um, uh, the Gangster Chronicles out in L.A. Uh, do it. So if you're interested in, in producing his podcast, reach out to me. I'll forward the information or you can reach out to him directly. All right. Also tonight, um, hang on, a bunch of notes here. Oh, uh, Atiana Jefferson, her father passed away uh, this past Saturday. From a heart attack, okay? Atiana uh, Jefferson was the uh, young female, 28 years of age, shot and killed in Fort Worth, Texas by um, a police officer who was uh, since arrested and um, very sad. So we may touch on that tonight as well, along with rapper... Um, uh oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, where's my notes? Lil Reese. Uh, according to allhiphop.com, Lil Reese was shot, and he's now in grave condition. You guys know who Lil Reese is? Hmm? I say this uh, respectfully. Did the chickens come home to roost? Remember years ago, Lil Reese beat up a girl on video. Not alleged. On video. And uh, he wasn't canceled then. He went on to have a career. And um, a couple of months ago, some, uh, some guys gave him the beat down. And uh, it appeared that he defecated on himself. He claims he didn't. I don't know. But uh, again, according to allhiphop.com, he has been shot. And uh, please keep me up to speed if you... Um, um, get any type of notifications uh, whilst we're doing the show. Also, tonight, give me a second, give me a second, I want to choose my words carefully here. The YouTube streets are hot. The YouTube streets are hot. And um, I'm not going to be putting people's names and titles in the 
uh, the, the title of my video, but yes, I got your emails. Tyreek Nasheed, ADOS. Um, I respect Tyreek Nasheed, and I respect uh, the ADOS movement. I've spoken to Yvette Carnell. I've never met nor spoken to uh, uh, Tone Talks. And um, if I can assist in any way, shape, or form, that's all I want to do. I don't want to get into the chatty pattiness of it. It's, it's pretty intense. When Tyreek put his Mac down last night on his channel. I was watching. And um, it is what it is. Uh, I, I, you know, throughout the decades or even centuries here in America, we have had uh, people on the front lines trying to advance the black experience, black culture, black progress, and they have had tension. I'll just say tension. So we're just seeing it now um, because we have social media, so it's right in front of our faces. But, uh, you know, these things have to happen, uh, if you ask me, to hash out some of the progress that uh, I'm sure will happen amongst these 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 good people. That's all I want to say, all right? Okay, Boss Chick Ronnie, I'm ready for you if you want to call in so you can help me out with... Um, T.I.'s daughter, unfollowed the family. Where we going, huh? Hey, good evening in the live chat. How you guys doing? Hold on a second. Uh, I'll put a little respect on some of your names. Okay, Dennis Wise, good evening. Fresh veggies, how are you? Ray's wife, <clears throat> G-Money79. Okay, okay. Good to see you there, good to see you there. I may want to talk about, um, at some point, a little bit later on, if I, if I don't forget... I now, I had to block a couple of people on my, on my private Instagram page. And it's not because what you're saying bothers me, but just you're doing too much. I don't want notifications every day about different things in your life. And, and I'm more so talking to people that are trying to handle business through my IG page. I, I still handle things via email, the hater, 1964yahoo.com. But uh, I'm not going to just be, you know, Constantly, constantly bombarded through my Instagram page. Call me Aggie. I don't give a damn. I just want to say that. Um, let me bring Boss Chick Ronnie in early so we can get started and talk about uh, tonight's topics. Boss Chick Ronnie, are you there? Good evening. Hey, Star. Hey, hey. How are you on a Monday? All right. Yourself, how are you? Good, good, good. Any family uh, that have served in the armed forces here in America? Today's Veterans Day. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yes. So, um, where do you want to... you? Yeah, yeah. Your father, yeah. right? My okay. father and, and a couple of uncles, actually. Uh, they're, they're deceased now. And, um, you know, I, t today's a, a special day for me uh, of sorts. So, uh, yeah, I, I did take time to, uh, you know, uh, think about them. And, uh, and here we are. So, all right. Um, T.I.'s daughter, uh, she unfollowed him and the entire family. Yes, according to multiple uh, reports. Your thoughts? You're a young lady. Um, what do you want to start? Yes. So not only did she um, unfollow him, she also uh, liked a series of tweets that characterized his behavior or his comments rather as disgusting, possessive, and controlling. Um, and she also tweeted out directly to the people, um, I love you all. Mm. Um, the, pod the podcast that T.I. appeared on, they have since walked away from, you know, that episode. They took it down. Right, they right. apologized. So they, because they sort of caught some of the backlash yeah, yeah. Um, for not having said anything to him, for basically laughing along the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they were giggling. <laughs> so, so I guess somebody hollered at them or they just you know, took, took a good listen to themselves. So has he released a statement? I have not heard anything from T.I. I don't listen to his uh, expeditiously podcast. I mean, unless there's some, some controversy. <laughs> has he responded? No, he hasn't yet responded. But, you know, we know for sure that he has 11.5 million followers, but his daughter isn't one. So... Yeah, so, in, I'm sorry, in your opinion, do you think that uh, she's got something loaded in the can? And I mean, I, I don't mind speculating tonight. Why would an 18-year-old um, girl of a very famous, you know, uh, celebrity, uh, why would she unfollow the, the entire family? Or, or is it not that deep? Maybe she just didn't want to be tagged and tagged and tagged. Maybe she just wanted a break. Did she put her page on private? I, I, I don't know where she's, uh, what she's thinking. I don't have any daughters like that. I think this is like a sort of 
passive aggressive way of saying, you know, I, I don't like, you know, the fact that he's making these appointments and showing up and because you have to consider the tweets that she's liking. That's sort of almost like co-signing whatever someone is saying or else why would you like it? So I think it's, you know, reached a point where she's maybe not going to say something to him directly, but, you know, her liking it is sort of putting it out there. I don't like it either. I want to get a little messy. I think she might have um, some type of trump card and maybe (laughs) maybe she's going to extort him. I, I, I want to go there. I think she might be wanting to now apply some pressure. Yeah, listen, today's kids are different from, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40 years ago. There, there's no level of respect. I mean, he's breaking her off. He's putting her and the other kids through, through uh, school. They're, 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 they're rich. I don't know if they're wealthy, but they're rich. I think she might be uh, getting ready to, um, to squeeze him. Any thoughts on that? Um, so do you mean like squeeze him as far as, him cheating and a shakedown. Evidence a sh- a shakedown. To... Yeah, yeah. You, you've been giving me an allowance, but now I want triple. There's no parameters. <laughs> I'll triple every month. Well, he's sort of already getting, he's sort of already getting shaken down every time he breaks up with Tiny and gets back to her. He's on the record as saying, "I, I buy this, I buy that." Mm. You know, it makes up for it. Um, you know, because he's come under fire in the past, sort of for having this cavalier attitude that. I do what I want, and you, you're in the house. So I don't think he could be shaken down in that way. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sit tight, Ronnie. I'm going to bring a couple of calls in, and also I do want to go back with regards to the Alicia Keys um, Instagram post. I had another thought with regards to that, and um, I would like your your, your um, uh, opinion on that as well. Let's bring in some calls. Uh, area code four one three. Uh, good evening, 413. We're talking about a few things tonight. T.I.'s daughter and uh, uh, Troy Reed issuing an apology. Are you there? 413. Yes, how are you doing tonight? Hey, good yeah, evening, uh, man. How are you? Hey. Not bad, not bad. Um, I mean, first off, just jumping off, um, T.I. with all this stuff with his daughter, he bugging, man. He doing a little too much, and um, I hope she do extort him. I hope she's going to for anything. Mm. Wow. Billy ass down. He be doing too much. And nothing I can't stand more, please excuse my language, than a dumb nigga who think he sounds smart. Okay. Ain't nothing worse than that. Because he swear up and down he's smart, he's not. He just make dumb decision after dumb decision, and he keeps showing everybody what not to do. Yeah. yeah. But he keeps doing stupid shit. Are you a father yourself? Um, what was the other topic? You a father? Yes, I am. I got two boys. Two yeah, boys? Yeah, I got two boys. Okay, okay. Now, res- yeah. respectfully, the kids today, uh, they, they, they use every and anything they can against you. Uh, I remember a couple of years, well, more than a couple of years back. What's that guy's name? Uh, the actor from um, Baywatch. He was drunk in the living room on the floor playing with a cheeseburger, and his daughter was filming him, Michael uh, something, and she just, she clowned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She clowned him. She filmed him and then posted it. <laughs> She's living, she's living a life of luxury, and she still didn't care. Yeah, it's one of the. you're absolutely right. These kids don't have no. These kids don't have no respect. Um, my wife, my my wife's sister's son, they was arguing one day, and he called her a big no slut. That sh- it threw me for a loop. I could not wow. believe he said that to his mother. Wow, it was unbelievable. Uh, anybody put hands on him? Well, you, 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 you didn't home. want to take the risk. Nah, because he a cop caller, so I wasn't messing with him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, um, he ain't my kid. Hey, y'all, y'all deal with that. Wait, wait, wait. Are you from the New York area? Uh, Troy Reed has apologized with regards to the uh, the snippet of the Alpo documentary. You know, I, I, I want to I still be objective, even though I met Troy Reed. I, I think this might be a clout chasing move. I think that you know, it, it's he knows what he's dealing with with, with regards to Alpo Martinez and. It's all good. Alpo's trying to eat. Troy's trying to eat off of this particular documentary. He's been working on this for well over a decade. Any thoughts? And did you see the apology? Um, no, nah, I didn't see the apology, but I think the way that they're portraying this whole Alpo, Rich Porter thing is disgusting. At the end of the day, that man got shot in the head over some drugs. It's a foolishness. And everybody, it's just okay for it to be. But you know what, Star? It's because we black. 
Niggas don't got no respect for niggas. So we can do whatever we want to each other, just like on YouTube. We can say nigga all we want, mm -hmm. but that F word, yeah. we cannot. Yeah, don't say the F word. Got to get you up out of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Okay, just, okay. You, you can't use that, but you can say the N word all day all you want. Right, right. But, you know, it's just disgusting, and we got to do better. Y'all right, have right. a good night. Man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Take care. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Phone lines are open. And uh, hang on a second. Uh, I'll get to that super chat shortly. Um, let me bring in area code 917. Good evening, 917. Uh, Troy Reed, Alpo director, has apologized for the snippet. Any thoughts? 917. Yo, yo, what's good? Start this 100 acre woods, man. I hey. ain't up to speed. I'm just checking in the show, man. Okay, okay. Uh, anything that you want to put on the table? I'm, I'm kind of all over the place tonight. It's Monday night, holiday. Yeah, I'm working on building my website right now, you know, about to just, you know, um, try to promote some uh, entrepreneurs, show them how I do the digital marketing and stuff, so be aware for that coming mm -hmm. soon, man. How long have you been working on it? About six months right now, just gathering information, put everything together. Remember, I told you I was going to start selling beats, so I got oh. that digital marketing plan all together. Whoa, so whoa, I'm whoa. Put that in full of okay, effect. hang on a second. Stay with me. Okay, so now you quit your job at the hospital to make beats, right? I remember. Well, yeah, to sell them. I made the beats already. I just got to, I had to figure out the marketing plan to sell it. And, you know, I okay. was studying that. Yeah. And, uh, I'm so how long have you, have you not been working? Are you getting unemployment? Or, no, you quit. So you can't get unemployment, right? You quit. Nah, you know, I, I put something to the side. You always got to be prepared when you're ready to make a boss move. So I'm, I'm about to send you some bread when I'm ready to promote, put my banner up. Okay. Okay. So have you sold any beats yet? Right now, nah, but I got the plan. You know what I mean? It's coming soon. Don't worry about it. Right. It's, it's, it's going to be there. Look, it's, now, I, I defended you. What's that? Yo, what's good, Ronnie? I said I defended you, you know, back when you announced that you made your decision. I'm sort of disappointed to hear you didn't sell any beats yet. Sorry, right, baby. It's going to be, I, I'm going to send you some music for your page. All right, so, this, beats. I got so you've been working on this site for six months. How, many, how, many, how much more time before you get it up? Six months, a long time. Pause. I'm going to put it on the web before Christmas. Okay. Before Christmas, you're going to eat. I'm already on Spotify, actually. I could go, you could check out my beats on Spotify. It's uh, 100 Acre Woods. Okay. Just rap instrumental. That's something light that I was just testing out. But Got you. I, like I said, I want to sell some beats. So, All right. Yeah. Good to talk to you, man. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Okay, 100 Acre Woods on the check-in. Hey, sometimes you got to follow your dream. Uh, let's go to area code um, 415. Hey, good evening, 415. Are you there? 415. Man, Nick calling out today. Hey, what's up, man? How you been? What's going on, man? Another day in paradise, another day in paradise. How you been? What's up, Ronnie? I'm good. I'm on the grind, man. We're talking, hey. talking about um, uh, Troy Reed apologizing. Did you ever see the, uh, the, the snippet of the Alpo documentary? You're out in uh, the bay. Do you care? No. No interest. No interest in any of that nigga shit, bro. Too many other important things like T.I.'s daughter. I'm following him. <laughs> so nobody got time for no stupid shit like that. Um, I think with T.I.'s... Like, straight up. Come on, straight come up. on. Come on. Uh, I think with T.I.'s daughter, I think that uh, it's the beginning of her new uh, rebranding and media rollout. You right, know? right. Uh, we saw what happened. We saw, we saw exactly what happened when... Uh, the Kardashian sister broke away from her best friend. She went on the uh, on the red table talk with uh, mm. what's her name? Uh, Jada Pinkett. Jada with Pinkett. Mrs. Uh, yeah. With Miss Jada Pinkett. Yeah. Yeah. Will Smith's little brother, Jada. They do her yeah. media rollout. Yeah, she's gonna go out there. She's gonna <laughs> complain. Jada's built like a ten year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> hey, she, listen, she's gonna go. Out, she's gonna go out on all these shows. She's gonna she's gonna be boohooing, talking about how Ti was this overprotective dad who used to cheat on, you know, all these women and how he's such a hypocrite. And you know what the worst part is, sir? Come on. You know what the worst part of this whole situation is? The guys that T.I. was scaring, was scared, were going to hit up his daughter, mm -hmm. she's, she's, this is an advertisement for those guys. Oh, yeah. So all oh, those yeah. guys that T.I. was trying to keep away from her, yeah. this, this is going to be like the, this is the green light. Everybody's going to be after yeah. her. She, you're going to see her on every, with every football player, every basketball player. You know, she's going she's gonna to go the Lori Harvey route. That's yeah. it. 
Oh. She's got her back. She'll be hanging with Trippy Red and uh, funded her and the host of others. All that shit, sipping lean, <laughs> popping Molly, finger dipping, uh, uh, mm. you know, all that shit. Finger dipping fentanyl, all that good shit. Wow. She, she's gone. She's she belongs to the streets now. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. Oh, this, on some hating shit, I would love to see her on the View. I would love to see her on the View saying, "No, no she's not going to go." He mentally she, abused she, me. I've been suffering inside. She's going to go on. Re- I'd love to see. I'm that. calling it right now. I'm going to call three shows that she's going to hit up. Come on. And, I'm, and, and two of them are kind of left field, but I think she's going to do Red Table Talk A. Okay. I think the second one she's going to do, she's going to do Wendy Williams. Mm. And I think the surprise one is going to be Dr. Phil. If she's really trying to open herself to different markets. She's got to get the white folks with Dr. Phil. Right, right. She's got to go ahead and get the, you know, the Wendy Williams, you know, th- that crowd. Okay. And then okay. She, she's going to do the Red Table Talk. And who knows? She might end up on Oprah. She might end up with a face-to-face with Oprah talking about I don't think anybody cares about Oprah. But uh, So listen, uh, Nick, hang on a second. If we can shift gears, you and I haven't spoken in a while. Anything going on with boxing or MMA? Uh, I haven't watched anything in uh, well over a month. Anything that I missed? Any, any good fights? Anything coming up? Yeah, there was a re- really, really good fight happened between uh, Nate Diaz and uh, George Masvidal. The yeah. bad motherfucker belt. That was the one where Donald yeah. Trump showed up. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. His older brother, Nick Diaz, is actually talking about coming back to fight him, but they're trying to set up a fight between him and uh, Conor McGregor. Mm-hmm. Conor McGregor's facing a bunch of stuff. Okay. I feel like Dana White really wants to bring him back, but at the same time, you know, he's got a sexual assault case yeah. on, him, on him right now. He's got the beating up old men in, in Irish pubs. Jesus. You know, it, it's, it's a crazy situation. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what's going okay. on, man. Okay. Good to talk to you, man. Thank you for checking in. Yeah. Thank you. All right, boss. Okay. No mad Nick on the check in. All right, all right. Hold on a second, uh, ball chip Ronnie. Uh, who is this here? Maybe one of Rich Porter's uh, associates. Oh, okay. Uh, someone is saying via Super Chat T. Gardner, maybe one of Rich Porter's associates, pressed Troy Reed. And I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hate to, you know, to dump on, like, you know, guys from that era. But is there really anybody around that's got, like, you know, pull like that anymore from that Alpo, uh, Rich Porter era? A lot of those guys were up on YouTube. They've got, they got missing teeth, cataracts, glaucoma. Just, you know, they look crazy. Last time I saw AZ, he was, like, damn near 400 pounds. Thank you for your super chat. Um, hold on a second. Hey, Ronnie, also, before I forget, uh, I just want to go back for a second here. Uh, did you have any opinions, or should we not touch on Alicia Keys? Uh, it happened uh, last week. She put up a post on Instagram. Did you look at that? Any thoughts? I don't, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but, uh, you know, the uh, her four-year-old son and the rainbow nail polish. Yeah, that... Right, that video was just very reminiscent to me of sort of like the way that um, Malik Yoba was trying to push this idea, like it was almost in a way like chastising, saying that men need to be more understanding of, you know, men who love trans women. The point that she was trying to make with her video was that she claims that the four-year-old wanted rainbow nail polish, but he told her that he was afraid of being of judgment. Right. I can't imagine that a four-year-old came out of their mouth and said they were afraid of being judged. I think she created this story to basically, you know, push this idea that because she's saying we need to be less judgmental in the world, we need to be more accepting. So then I got to wondering, like, does she have an album or some sort of project coming out that now she's looking for the Alphabet Community co-sign? Because we don't need you to tell us that the world needs to be less judgmental right. in terms of your four-year-old. Why is he even at the nail salon with you? <laughs> Would I be wrong to say, let us hear from the four-year-old? I mean, listen, we are a, we are a generation that wants, yeah, you that, would. That wants receipts. Listen, uh, no, a four-year-old will tell you they are Santa Claus or they are a snowman or they are, some, they are an action figure that they see on a cartoon. It's up to you as a parent to set that child straight. Yeah. So, you know, I really don't believe that the four-year-old said he was afraid of being judged. Maybe he said something along the lines of, are people going to make fun of me? But even if he did, 
that means that he has a natural inclination that he has no business painting his nails. Hmm. I want to go on record and say I think she's clout chasing. And uh, I, I, I thought about Nola. I thought about um, Bow Wow. <laughs> you know, about Bow Wow used to tell these tell these fucking whoppers. He would he would say he was in first class on the plane when in reality he was in coach. You know, I, I think she's cloud chasing. I, I didn't say that last week. I was trying to not, not be so harsh, but uh, I think she was cloud chasing. Just want to say that. Um, all right, hang on a second. Let me get more uh, calls in here. Area code uh, 914. Good evening, 914. We're talking about T.I.'s daughter unfollowing uh, the whole family on the gram and uh, Troy Reed issuing an apology. Are you there? 914. I think T.I.'s daughter is going to be pregnant in a year. I'll give it a year. Can you speak up, please? I'm having a little trouble hearing you. Say again. I think T.I.'s daughter is going to be pregnant within a year. President what, sir? Oh, you said pregnant. She, she's going to be pregnant. Oh, pregnant. Oh, okay. Pregnant. I thought you were trolling. Yeah, she was wow. pregnant in a year. Come and on. Are you a parent yourself? Come on. I like where you're going. I like where you're going. I, I am, sir. I am. I, I'm, I'm a parent of a... Teenage pregnant daughter. Okay. You have the floor. I know these girls, these star, when these girls, when they get that age, when they start turning around 18, 19, their their hormones kick in. Mm -hmm. And they think sex. They they want sex all the time. When did you lose control? At, At what age? Keep it real. When did you lose control? When did she start talking back to you? Throwing shit. Fifteen, star. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Hmm. Ronnie, you want to jump in? Oh, bullshit, money. Well, I mean, if I can go back to an, a point that um, Nomad Nick just previously made, which is whether or not we know it's not intentionally, but Ti is basically advertising the fact that his daughter is a virgin. That's like a unicorn these days, this day and age, right? right? Especially for an 18-year-old female. So it's like, why would you want to divert all of that extra attention to her DMs or her, you know, wh- whoever sees her and comes into contact with her, they're looking at her in terms of, that's the virgin. Why would you want to give her all that extra attention? That's like free promotion. Exactly. Well, okay. I'll give you the final word, sir. Final word. Yeah, I just wanted to know, Star, are you up to speed on this uh, Tariq Nasheed, Yvette Carnell beef that, that's going on? Yeah, yeah, listen, I said earlier in, in my show here tonight, I don't want to get in the middle of that. I respect Tariq Nasheed. Um, uh, Yvette Carnell called into the show. We spoke about reparations. I don't know tone talks, never had any type of exchange. Um, some of the stuff Tariq Nasheed was saying last night was right on point. Right on point. Um, but I'm sure they're going to, you know, well, I hope they hash it out. And if not, then uh, they, they, they don't. But uh, I don't want to say too much. Any thoughts? Any inside thoughts? Are you ADOS yourself? No, I'm just on the sideline. Mm-hmm. But I am ADOS. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ADOS as well. And I don't have to belong to any group. And, and I like the, the, uh, what Tyreek Nasheed said about that last night. I don't think so because... Being ADOS, you're born into a political group just by being born in America. So you really can't separate the two. Continue. Continue. Tell us more. Because, sure. Because America sees black people as a political thing just by being born in America. You come from a lineage of slavery that has uh, its founding in politics because without politics we would still be slaves okay did you hear Tyreek Nasheed last night yeah and I think Yvette's gonna say something later I'm sure I'm sure yeah okay I appreciate the call man thank you thank you for checking right. out thank you sir okay, have a good sir. night okay hold on boss chick Ronnie uh on the check and via super chat gem star hold on a second uh star T.I.'s daughter is about to sign to Rock Nation, Best of Both Worlds tour with Centoya Brown coming soon. 
Now, how's she doing, uh, Centoya Brown? I saw something, uh, a little thumbnail with her defending her husband, but I, I really didn't want to get into it. Um, and Ryan, do you give a shit about Drake being booed off the stage? Uh, I don't know the name of that uh, concert. Uh, something that Tyler, the creator, it was his event, and Drake was booed off the stage. Did you see the clip, or do you not care? I didn't see the clip, but I didn't care enough to clip, click on it. <laughs> I think it was just the wrong crowd. I guess the tide is turning. What's that? Is, is it the tide turning on him? I think it was just the wrong crowd, but uh, Drake was... Uh, Tyler usually picks those artists for that particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, concert. It's an ongoing uh, event. I don't know uh, how long it goes back, but... Uh, he was disappointed in his fans, uh, you know, if anybody cares. Let's go to area code um, 225. Good evening. Are you there? 225. What's going on, stars? How you doing, man? It's uh, your boy, uh, Kid Dangerous, man. Noah's adopted son. How you doing? <laughs> Kid Dangerous. How you doing, Bonnie? I mean, Ronnie. What's <laughs> okay. up? Kid Strangerous. <laughs> how are Kid you dangerous. tonight? <laughs> What's going I'm on? I'm doing good, guys? man. Uh, how you been? I'm good. I'm Look, good. Uh, thank you for slowing down on the emails. Th thank you, because you, you were starting to just, you know, you, Rub me the wrong way, man. What's going on with you? Let's take our time tonight. What's going on? Okay. Look, I wanted to ask him, um, who do you think is going to win out of uh, DNA and A-Verb? You know, it's just, it's just been announced. Who are you going with? Uh, that's a tough one because, you know, DNA ha has stamina through all three rounds. I've seen A-Verb at his best. I've seen him at his worst. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I don't want to call it. I don't, right. like, I don't like to judge uh, battles before they, before they happen, you know, because it's... Uh, it, it, it can go either way. Somebody can have an off night. Somebody can be um, just thrown off by, by the crowd. I mean, uh, who are you going with? Uh, I, I think I think it can go it can go either way. I do believe that uh, DNA. You know, you never know how he's going to show up. But I, I do say that. Um, I do feel like you know. I think A Bird could could take it. It just depends on whose material is actually. Uh, fire and, and what material that is that the crowd actually agrees with because mm -hmm. you got to look at it your material has to line up to you know the people your audience too so it just depends on who really you know who can really get crazy with the pen but uh, I, I think i think i'm i'm edging it i'm edging it to verb because you know verb you know he did you know he just got done battling murder mook and right. loaded look right, right so i mean i i do i do think he can take it to him yeah mm -hmm. well he may have shot his load because he just battled two of the best in the game, so he might be uh, deflated right now. I don't know. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, you know, that's a possibility. Anyway, so, so let me ask you a question. Right. Have you battled mm -hmm. any, anybody in person, or do you just battle on on, uh, on the phone through Norbs' uh, uh, platform? Well, um, basically, uh, what I'm doing is, if, if you notice, one thing that's unique about me is that I'm, I'm skipping the PGs. I'm just going right to the big names. I just battled, uh, I battled Don Marino mm -hmm. on Norbs. I battled um, Danny Myers. Right, right. I battled Swamp. So yeah. I'm, I'm, Have you ever battled anybody in person? Again, that, that's the question, like, you know, face to face. Oh, uh, no, not yet. But right. there's talks about me battling Geechee. Geechee got it. There, yeah. um, I'm actually negotiating a contract to battle him, so I might battle him in person. Okay. And what state are you out of again? I forget. Uh, Louise, uh, Louisiana. I'm from Gonzales. Are you sure? Yes, Gonzales, Louisiana. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, so listen, before I let you go, and um, how old are you again? You're 20, what, 24, 25? I forget. Yeah, I'm uh, 24, yes. 24, okay. Any thoughts on T.I.'s daughter? Mm -hmm. She has now unfollowed him and the entire family. As as a younger man, do you think she's uh, she, she's ready to turn up, drop down, get her eagle on? What the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, she, uh, she, she might come my way. Yeah, under black. <laughs> yeah, oh uh, yeah. I, I think. Uh, yeah, I still would like her to come my way, but uh, I think I think she she, she needs some in, in, independence. Uh, I, I think uh, as you get older, you should be able to uh, you know to have more space. You just got to know how to handle yourself because gotcha. you know one move could you know could mess your whole life up. So yeah, it's. You know, it just depends on, you know, the kids will have a different perspective and the parents will have a different perspective. The opinions will be different, definitely. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, this kid, kid Harmless, good to talk to you, man. Thank you so much for checking in. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get him out of here. <laughs> I think you gave him that name, Ronnie, didn't you, Kid Harmless? Yes. Okay. Hey, any, any updates on uh, Lil Reese? Uh, is she still alive? Hold on a second. I'm just scrolling through... Uh, 
a report here. The last I see is that he's in grave condition. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like he checked out yet, but I have a little bit of um, irony. Please. On Friday, he tweeted, in Chicago, someone gets shot every time someone plays Little Reese on the radio. So I'm wondering if he was, like, in a car playing his music or mm. what? I don't know. Do you know his music? Are you a fan of his, Lil Reese? No, I'm, I'm not a fan. I can't tell you one song he did. Okay. Can you tell me his music or... No, I, I don't know any of his songs like, really. like that. I mean, I, I've heard some things over the years, but nothing that really, like, you know, stuck, you know. Um, but, um, okay. Stuck, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Let's go to Area Code. I only hear about him for bad headlines. Yeah, yeah. Area Code 727. Good evening. We're talking about uh, director Troy Reed issues an apology over the, uh, the Alpo uh, clip. Are you there? 727. Hello, hello. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, let's get you out of there. Area code um, three four seven. Good evening, three four seven. Yo, what up, Star? Hey, how are you? Yo, what up? It's your boy Black coming out of Brooklyn, man. Hey, what's up, man? Ain't hey, shit, man. I, I, as usual, man. I usually call in on some random shit and happy to get through. Let's go. And um, I'm just happy to just I just happen to see the um the topic of the day, man. And with Ti, yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man. I, I seen your last couple of episodes and everything. I'm going to be honest, man. Like, I don't, I'm not a, like you said, I'm be both Tauruses. I, I, I don't have no children, no kids in there, but I, but I'm, I'm, I have a lot of God kids and I love children. Okay. And, um, I don't see nothing wrong with the man, with, with people, with, with, fam, with people being family. Like, how can I, how are you going to really sit there and tell a man how to raise his daughter because it's, because public perception. That's ridiculous. I, like it, it, it just it makes me don't want to have kids because it's like yo so if I have kids if I beat them and he I'm gonna be in trouble because I'm trying to tell them don't fucking put your hand on the fucking stove mm -hmm. pardon my language you know what I'm saying like it's right. ridiculous it's, 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 get, it's getting to the point it's getting to the point where it's like they don't want us to be like we, they don't want they want our kids to be born and do whatever they want to say mm -hmm. do they can do whatever they want they want they want our kids to be able to say that at five years old six years old that they. He's a boy, but he would say he's a girl. And if I say he's not, then I'm a wrong parent. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Like, I don't want to be a parent. Then. If I can't tell my, my son that he's not a girl, I don't want to have kids then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me kids. If I, can't, if I can't tell my kids that, if I can't tell my daughter you're a girl, if I can't tell my son he's a boy, then I don't want to have kids then. Mm. And that's the problem. Like, what's, what's going on in this world? So society is going to prevent you from uh, procreating. You, you're going to... Uh... They're, 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 yes, they're, they're that's gonna, the whole goal. They're, they're going to get you to the point where you just you're shook and you. Uh, that's it. I don't have them. Listen, that's the whole. The whole. First of all, I don't want to get too deep, but the whole goal with all this LGBTQ2K or whatever, whatever you want to talk about it. The whole goal at the end of the day is to end the age of consent. To end the age of consent, so we can be freaky. We can have sex with toddlers. We can have. Mm. Easy, easy. You're going too far left. Slow it down, please. Don't go in that direction. I'm sorry. Okay. But Come that, but I'm, I, you know, I'm done. I'm done. Your star. I love the platform. You know, I call in with Thank the you. random stuff, and I just, I'm done. I'm yeah. done. I'm proud. Hey, hey, if you see Buck Wild on those Brooklyn streets, tell him to turn himself in. All right. Thank you, man. Okay. That was some random shit. Yeah. <laughs> Buck, Buck Wild said, "Any rocks until I drop." That's what he said. For those who care, and I had a conversation with him, as I always do, and I said, listen, man, you know, we, you know, I'll help you out when you're out in the world, but once you go inside, that's it. Niggas are living good in, inside the jail, living great inside. just want to say that. Uh, area code uh, 516. Good evening, 516. Are you there? Hello? Yo. 516. Good evening. Are you there? Five one six. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, it's on a bad phone. Let's get him out of here. Um Area Code seven two zero. Good evening. Are you there? Seven two oh. Star. Hey, hey. Uh, I'm in the building, man. Thank okay. you for answering my call. Okay. Do you know what tonight's topic is? Honey. 
Hey. I did. I looked at it about the Alpo thing. And yeah. to be honest with you, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I guess I'm going to get disrespectful right now for a second because I'm like. We're trying not to go too far left with the profanity. Just okay. take it easy. Take it easy. Well, I'm not, I can be disrespectful and not curse. Okay, so I'm like, okay. So the only reason why the the the, the public knows about Alpo is because Cameron played the role. So we had so we had an, another African American that had to bring that role to life. That's the only way we could see it and relate to who he was and how he impacted the underworld in the underworld game. But ultimately, when we talk about, you know, this is somebody who's not necessarily considered an African-American that took down African-Americans after he snitched. At the end of the day, he's the only one that's out here that can tell the full story mm -hmm. about what happened, and he's living to tell about it. How old are you, sir, and where are you calling from? Why are we? I'm calling from the A. Okay. Colorado. Yeah. How old? I'm 30. Okay, okay. Uh, truthfully, and I don't say this to, uh, you know, to co-sign, you know, all the, the Harlem nonsense, but uh, the movie Paid in Full only assisted this this huge street legend within the, the entire New York tri-state area. That movie did not, re if you ask me, I'm 55, you know that, did not really reintroduce, well, I'm sorry, it reintroduced the, uh, the, the Alpo story rich porter yada 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 but because of the way alpo or, or because of the way rich porter was killed uh his younger brother the story already had legs if you ask me now you have you always lived in atlanta right no so uh i i went to atlanta one time okay um that's another story i can't really explain to you why i went there um that's a whole nother story um but what i what i tell us it all tell it all tell it all <laughs> yeah, nah, man. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah, nothing like that. And like I said, you know, I can't, I can't get into all that. Oh, okay, um, yeah. But, but you know, when I went out to the A, like, uh, you know, it was uh, Colorado or Atlanta. You keep saying the A, Atlanta. I'm, I'm in, I'm in Aurora, Aurora, Colorado. Aurora. You, you know, you heard oh. about us, man. We had the movie theater. Yeah, gotcha. you know, it, it's okay. It, it, yeah, it, you know, it's, it, it's. It's getting strange out here right now, and uh, okay. you know, just by the whole, just by the whole impact of you know this whole Alpo thing and everything. I'm like, well, why is everybody talking about this Alpo thing? Like, why is he getting so much glory right now when all of our black men have taken the fall yeah. for his glory? Niggas love the nonsense, sir. Come on, you should know this by now. Come on, come on. I mean, yeah. come on about what? Like, <laughs> man, the man is sitting here. He's living right now after what he did. And I'm like, man, the, the street shit really don't got no respect. Don't yeah. nobody have no, restraints for, no respect for the streets yeah. no more. You're absolutely right, but I'm just giving you a little background with, with regards to what you're saying. Uh, also, can I ask you this other topic? Um, if a man doesn't touch a woman for three days, does that mean he's gay? Hell no, nah, man. Shit. I got a girlfriend I don't touch for three days, man, because I don't want to fuck her. <laughs> can, can you take it easy on the profanity, please? Slow down. Yeah, sorry, man. Jesus. That's real. That's real, man. The average man out here, like, really, man, you, you work hard all day. You don't want to be doing all that work right man. now. You just don't. Like, like girl, why don't you do something? Why don't you have a question for the caller, Ronnie? I think uh, I've said all I need to say to him. Ronnie? No, I don't have any questions. All right. Thank you, sir. You have a good evening. Thank you for the call. Yeah, you as well. Okay, okay. I don't believe him. Whew. Okay. That, that was a curveball, Ronnie. I saw something on Vlad TV here. Uh, Tamar Braxton says, men are gay if they don't touch you for three days. Well, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I guess she's starved for attention because... Clearly. Yeah. I mean, why else would you say something like that? Via a now-deleted post uh, that showed showed up in her IG stories. Yeah, cl cloud chasing. Or maybe she was, you know, on something. Didn't know what else to do. Let's go to area... Put it up, and she took it down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 336, are you there? Good evening. 336. Yeah, how you doing, Star? Hey, what's up, man? Nah, man, you know what it is. Okay. Elf all New York niggas, bro. 
You from New York, you said? No, I'm from North Carolina. Oh, okay. I said help all New York niggas. Oh, right, 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 right. Do you care about this uh, Alpo director, Troy Reed, apologizing, or are we beating a dead horse here? Beating a dead horse, star. Okay, okay. Where else you want to go, man? Hey, I want to talk about um, T.I. daughter, man. Don't you think T.I. being a little strict on her? Yeah, but I mean, I'm not a father, so I'm I'm trying to choose my words carefully. You know, I I, I hope she flips. I hope she flips. Yeah, you, you know how like kids like their parents be strict on them, and when they get a little bit of freedom, they get wild. I hope that don't turn out to be her, man. Okay. She be like little. She be like Lawrence Fishburne's um daughter yeah. doing yeah. porn and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's out there. She's really out there. Yeah. Okay. I think you got to be careful with that, man. Okay, okay. Any thoughts about Drake being booed off stage? Do you give a damn? Drizzy? Nah, man. They wanted to see um, Frank Ocean, man. They yeah. didn't want to see that nigga. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for checking in, man. Thank you. All right. All right thank you. No cackalack on the check in. Um, <clears throat> hold on a second, Ronnie. I may want to shift gears. I don't, I don't think anybody cares about uh, Troy Reed apologizing. It, it's just clout. It's all clout. Okay, hold on a sec. I'll bring one more, one more call in, then we'll switch it around. Um, area code 212, good evening. Are you there? 212. Stop, what's up, man? Hey, hey. Queen's Flip, how you doing? Hey, what's up, man? Is this the Queen's Flip? How you doing? Is this the Queen's yeah, Flip? Yeah, it's me, man. What's up? What's going on with you, the man? The Queen's Flip, man. How are you? Been a while. Been I'm a while. <laughs> it's been a while. You, you sound good and you look good, but you got shit on lock. Yeah. I'm, I'm down here in Atlanta, man. Moving, shaking, and popping. What's going on with you? I, I, I hollered at you a while back. What, what is the young lady's name? Is it, is it uh, oh, God, you guys were doing the comedy skits and you were pushing her over. What is her name again? Uh, Stace. Stays. Funny as hell. Stace. Funny yeah. as hell she is, yeah. I think yeah, you, you yeah. changed your number. You went to Hollywood. You changed your number. I sent you a text. Well, get back to me. Oh, sorry, man. This is my number right here, man. Don't give it out, please. But oh, you'll okay. give out numbers anyway. Um, so what else going on with yeah, you, man? Um, you know, I'm all right, man. You know, this, this Alpo shit, you run around Harlem, mm. causing a lot of confusion, man. There's a, okay. lot of, a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Excuse my language. He's running around Harlem. Of course, a lot of taking pictures with people that talked about him. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, man. It's, you know, this guy. Well, well uh, about a week or so know. ago, when, when the um, um, when the um, the trailer came out, I said I would love to see um, Alpo on uh, Queens Flips couch and also Love and Hip Hop. That's where he belongs, man. You're, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, man. you're popping, my nigga. You're popping like Jiffy Pop. He belongs on your couch. Have you spoke to Troy Reed? Are they gonna arrange that or what? Or is he a uh, Hiding out. Um, he's waiting till the documentary drops before he does a press run. I heard. Right, right. So that's what's going on as far as that. But um, just a lot going on with this album thing. It's a very, very sensitive subject. A lot of people. I don't think anybody really liked the trail. I think you're the only one that spoke from an objective standpoint. But everybody was like, I don't know, man. That was, you know, to a lot of people. I don't know. I, is what it is. I think people from New York who appreciate, you know, um, in my opinion, like, you know, the Harlem lifestyle and the flash and the stuff that goes with it. I think that him describing how he, he shot, according to him, how he, he shot Rich in the head because Rich startled him. I thought it was a little too much. Um, have you gotten any word about the, uh, the, the, per, the personal feeling from Alpo or Troy Reed? Have they said anything or is it just um... no well i think I, they say that alpo has an instagram so there's an instagram with a guy saying that he's alpo and he comes into the live chat on yeah, my instagram yeah. but that's about it um i just know that the family of the other side really feels the way a lot of people are upset man he, they feel that he he opened up old wounds but right, right. you know I, I stay out of that man I, I just i just pay attention from afar you ha you have to get into it. Never mind all that staying out of it. You you have to get into it, man. We're we're looking at you. We're looking at you. Yo, why you throwing me to the walls, man? <laughs> Yo. Now, now, now hang on a second. Do you think Troy Reed was pressured, uh, Queens Flip, it, with regards to the apology? Was he pressured? Come on, you would know. 
Um, I think Troy Reed initially when he did it, I think that he he bit off more than he could chew. My personal opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't think that he expected the, the the feedback to be like that. You remember him and Alpo been communicating since Alpo was incarcerated. Right, right. So Alpo gave Troy Reed Alpo gave Troy Reed his word, and you know he kept his word. But I don't think I don't think that Troy Reed expected the. the it's a lot of backlash. <laughs> that yeah. that was crazy. Do you think Troy Reed put the trailer out and and, and now he's uh, he's lying, saying that it was leaked? You think he did it? Now he's trying to cover his tracks. I, well, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know about that. I don't know how would it. How would it get leaked? From Troy Reed. You know. You know that. You know that old. Come, 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 come on, star man. You know that old school stuff. It got leaked. Uh, well, let me guess. They got in his email. Well, listen, I, I fuck with Troy Reed heavy, but if, if we're talking about like you know. Uh, where we are right now in society and people, you know, trying to trying to you know come up. We we've seen people like you know put put out footage, pictures, and then lie. And I don't like calling people a liar, but you think that he could have done it? And now he's uh, he's feeling the pressure. And somebody put in a call and said, "Hey, yeah, man, I, I think I think you, I, I think I think you could I think you could have done it." If you ask me, I think that it it, it could have been done intentionally. I mean, the, the whole thing around Apple, even on. On, the, on my channel, when I do interviews with Kane to him, it, it generates a lot of traffic. I, I, yeah. The algorithm pertaining to Apple's name is, is a lot of traffic to it. Right. So right, right, right. I think that it was a it was a him trying to capitalize on the move, and then I think that it backfired. It happens. Yeah. It happens to everybody. Okay. Okay. You know, I don't think that he thought it through, but it's Apple's version. I, I didn't see the apology. Where's the apology? I didn't see it. Uh, if, if you go to Real Gully TV, he's got the apology and a couple of other sites, but uh, Gully TV's got it. You fuck with Gully? Okay, I'll go check it out. Okay. Huh? Do you fuck with Gully? You guys cool? Gully TV? <laughs> no, nah, I don't know him. I don't know him. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Well, listen, right now, I think you're the interview hey, king. Hey. Queen's Flip, right now, you're the interview Thank king. You. You're popping. Anything you want to promote? What's coming up um, in terms of uh, interviews? Uh, Who you got coming up? Um, You know, we, we got Cameron coming up in December. Okay. Well, I wish I'm excited about. And um, I'm just trying to take it to TV, man. That's uh-huh. it, man. I'm just trying to take it to TV. We got yeah. camera. The, the the next big interview is Cameron, and you know, like I said, if Alpo want to sit down, you know, we we open the doors for him. But it's just a very touching, mm-hmm. a touching topic. I see Killer Kev popping. He's a good yeah. nigga. Killer Kev is popping. Yeah, Killer Kev. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's official tissue. He's official. He's popping. Killer Kev. <laughs> I ain't know about that stuff. <laughs> listen, listen, I, I, I hey, yo, real quick. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> a lot of people I just interviewed on there, but a lot of people was getting at me talking about, yo, did you put the word in for star? Where did that come from? I don't, I don't. De- oh, Deborah Ant- yeah, yeah, yeah De- Deborah Ant- yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've got to ask. Can you shoot her a text and say I'm here in Atlanta? I'm still trying to holler. Can you do that for me? I can do that for you, but why people? I did People were sending me emails. Flip. And, and, and asking me that I put the word in for star. Flip, flip. I'm as serious as colon cancer. I've been trying to holler at it, and I say that respectfully to Walker. You know, just say, trying to holler, man. I'm here in Atlanta. She's still here. I'd like to take her out for coffee. Can you make that yeah, happen? I can make that happen. I'll spoil, I can spoil her. To eat. Yes, I can. All right. Thank you, man. Good, I got you. Good to talk to you. Um, shoot me a text when you get time, all right? I got you. I got yeah, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, star. Tell G Money I said what's up. Tell G Money right. I said salute. Okay, Queen's Flip on the check-in, guys. Yeah, he's popping. Uh, quiet Room on uh, YouTube, in case you don't know. Oh, and, I'm sorry, you know, and guys, I didn't mention uh, where you can see uh, the Troy Reed apology. We're going to put the link up under my video here, but also you can go to Real Gully TV. Uh, Ronnie, can you confirm that? Can you um, have your laptop in front of you? I want to make sure. I know Gully's got it. Sure. Queen's Flip getting so much goddamn money, he's he's not even getting back to text messages. <laughs> Stace! Oh, she's funny as hell. Good-looking woman, too. I love her voice. And salute to all everybody over there. Uh, uh, Queen's Flip, uh, King Face, Shampoo, Lansky. Salute to all those guys, all right? Um, I have it. Okay, okay. So, guys, you can go to The Real Gully TV. He's got the apology right there. Troy Reed apologizes. To Alpo and the Porter family, okay? Okay, hang on a second. Uh, hey, Ronnie, you just sent me an email. What's going on here? Uh, ADOS versus FBA? Do we need to talk behind the scenes? Or what's going on here? 
That is uh, Yvette Carnell. I guess she's addressing Uh-oh. Tariq's commentary from last night. She's oh. live right now. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me get more calls in here. Uh, area code 305. Good evening. Um, 305, are you up to speed on uh, some of the topics we're talking about tonight? Other than T.I. hater, I'm not just the T.I. and the Hyman issue. That's the only one I'm up. White boy Jason, good evening. Good to hear your voice. Man. How are you, Jason? Chilling, chilling, man. <laughs> Same here, bro. Same here. Just chilling. Listen, I love that show you went all ham on the algorithms. I wish to God I wasn't working for that one. But <laughs> great show for that one. Well, listen, I, didn't, I, went ham- didn't I give you my direct Sorry. number? Didn't I give you my direct number to holler at me uh, on the weekends? I thought I did. Not yet, not yet boss hog. When you're ready, I'm here. No worries. Okay, listen. I'll shoot you my number on the week. Is it, listen, you and I should talk behind the scenes so I can give you just a little bit more of uh, how to frame, you know, uh, some of the conversations. Yeah, the algorithm is crazy. But, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. What's going on otherwise, man? I hey, get it. Hey, otherwise. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just watching some sports. Just Raptors and um, Clippers play today. Okay. Hawaii's facing his old team, the Raptors. Just, just some mm-hmm. chilling out. Listen. Are you saying hi to Ronnie or is there an issue? I, I have, a, have a female on the line. No, no, there's never any issue. Hey, Ronnie. Okay. Jason? <laughs> you say hi, Jason, not Jason, but you're okay. <laughs> All right, so, Jason, are you up to speed on Troy Reed, the director of the Alpo documentary, apologizing, or is that not uh, something you care about? It's not something I care about, here, respectfully. Okay. I'll okay. talk about the T.I. issue. I just never liked him as the rapper. I just thought what he was doing was a little too much of his daughter. But okay, come on. What the hell can he do these days? And what another caller said, that girl, respectfully, I'm going to go by the algorithm, that girl will go about very crazy when she gets older. Any any person who has straight parents will tell you, once you're free and the, and the cages are free, you hit 18, you do you do triple the time to go wild in the pain for for all the time you've been held up. Okay. So T.I. is ironically shooting himself in the foot with this more than he knows, but it's T.I. and bad life decisions. You know, I've never respected the guy that much, and I love rap, but it's okay. never, I felt, I felt... You know, the, the Atlanta movie gave him a little bit of slack. His one album, his collapse with Timberlake. But other than a rapper, and, you know, he hangs him close to Jay-Z so much just to give him clout, and it's, it's a bad look. Let's, let's... T.I. is the king of the South, Jason. Are you, are you up to speed on T.I.'s... I never got ca- that. Catalog? What you I never understood why, hater. I, I never understood why. Luda, respectfully, is the king of the South for me. Mm. But I could be, you know, respectfully, I know we're going to fuck around, and I'm a suburban white boy, but... Mm-hmm. Luda. Watch the f bombs, please. Slow down. Slow down. Yeah, so Slow down. Those are kings of the south. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Even the f bombs, I gotcha. But yeah, Luda, Outcast, so many other people are king of the south. Paul Wall, Slim Thug. I can pull in my rap game. I have nothing to front about. But Ti okay. was just a loser. Has gotcha. always been a loser to me. And all the stories I hear, Jesus, just added up. Okay, okay. Anything else you want to chime in on, uh, Jason? Before we uh, shift gears or what? No, uh, respectfully, if you want to do game tournaments, just let me know. But other than that, if you need any help gaming, well, let listen, me know. Listen, if we're, we're going to do anything, I, Honestly, if I can just cut in for a second. Down. I mean, I, I'm so swamped down here. My, my PS4 is sitting right there. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's got dust on it. I just I haven't had the time. Ron, Ron, Ronnie, what was that you sent me? You sent me no some worries. type of card, and I just I haven't even activated that yet. I'm slacking on the PS4. Yeah, where is Hater? I'm here. That's all. I'm here. Respectfully, okay. if you want to run some actual game tournaments, no offense to Ronnie and her PS3 ones, I got you for the current jam. But if we want to go back five years... Shots fired. <laughs> so look, guys, you have a great one. All right, thank you, Jason. Peace right. Hang on a second. Hold on, Ronnie. See you, buddy. All right. Jason taking shots on the way out. Uh, let me go to Super Chat. Hold on, Ronnie. Uh, that's amazing. Sends in a Super Chat. Uh, Star, how can people complain about a... Conference being 50 bucks. If you can't afford 50 bucks, work overtime at Taco Bell. Uh, okay, and so you're taking shots at somebody from another YouTube platform. I don't want to do that. I try and promote everybody, you know, just I'm in a great place. But thank you for your donation. That's amazing. RJ Supreme sends in a um, super chat. Some of us are black, unfortunately. I have to share both ethnic and race with Alpo. Salute to the machine. Okay. Uh, also, RJ Supreme says, uh, Hater, that caller that claimed Alpo is not black is incorrect. Hispanic is an umbrella term used to classify Spain, former 
uh, colonies. Listen, if, if, you, if you speak Spanish, that's fine. That's fine, but pl please don't confuse yourself with being Spanish if you're here in America. Thank you for your donation. Uh, Coke Floats at 3 a.m. says, I hope Kid Harmless don't laugh like that. Uh, and if, in a face-to-face -face battle, he'll come off as food. A top-tier battle rapper will smack that sugar out of his tank. Okay? Uh, SGS says, uh, good to see you no longer partake in r and uh, What is that? Oh, okay. B and E's breaking in entries. Okay. Okay, this is pretty graphic. Uh, okay, what happened to? Okay, he's referencing uh, the young lady from my book. Haven't spoken to her in years. Maybe maybe seven or eight years. Good woman. Good woman. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you for your donation. Bush kid on the check-in says, uh, "Happy Veterans Day to the fallen and those serving." Now giving me the right to say that. Uh, T.I. is the most unintelligent rapper ever, and Trump wins 2020, make America great again, okay? Black Racist on the check, and it says, I don't agree with T.I., but I understand uh, where he is coming from. Nobody wants their sister, daughter, or mother to be a whoring slut. Let that sink in, okay? Hang on, guys. We'll, we'll bring some more calls in. Ronnie, anything else we need to put on the table or flush out? Am I forgetting anything? This bullshit, Ronnie. Um, I was just basically trying to look at the comments over there to see what, try to get an idea of what Yvette Cornell was saying uh -oh. um, <laughs> in response to... Uh, I don't want to promote the drama, Ronnie. I, I don't want to do that. You know, just... That's not where, I, where I'm, you know... It's not where I want to be, you know? I, I, I respect Yvette, Tone, and Tyreek. But uh, if people want to go there and uh, check that out, you know, that's fine. But I don't want to... I don't want to add to it. Um, hold on a second. Uh, to do, hey, Sal, thank you for your donation. He said, Troy Reed might have got pressed. It's a possibility. I'm not going to dump on the guy. He, he was good to me once upon a time. Again, uh, and I'm, I don't know if he's still, along with his son, uh, Chase, they own the, um, the sneaker pawn shop. But it's a good guy, though, Troy Reed. Mm. Somebody said, uh, white boy Jason had a good argument with Luda over T.I. Okay. And Nomad Nick wants to get back on the line. Hold on a second. Nomad Nick, only for you. This one time, only for you. You wanted to jump on here about uh, Tamar Braxton. Where are we going? Yeah, with the Tamar Braxton thing, you know, I can understand why somebody wouldn't want to be around her for three days because she's starting to look like one herself. She's starting to look like a dude herself with all that plastic surgery. I mean, if you if you if you, if you saw her from a fifteen foot distance from the three shot from the three point line, you would think that you know what I'm saying. She was uh, hiding the Willy Bobo. You wouldn't know. So maybe you know maybe her dude is actually straight and he's actually scared that you know he's starting to build an attraction to uh, you know to a Sherm. Okay. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she just... Have you seen what she looks like? That doesn't look natural, man. I have. I have, yeah. That don't look natural. That don't look natural. So, I mean, maybe, maybe he doesn't want to touch her because, you know what I'm saying, he's, he's keeping his eye on the little pretty thing that still looks, you know, natural. Right. No, man, good to talk to you again. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right. He checked in again. Um, hold on a second, guys. Let me bring in every code 202. Good evening, 202. Troy Reed has apologized for the insensitivity with regards to the Alpo documentary snippet. Are you there? Do you care? Area code 202. Waiting patiently. Hello? Waiting patiently, yeah. Here in Washington, D.C., waiting patiently. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? You know, yeah, man, Washington, D.C., the home of where Alpo came and ruined a whole lot of lives, man. Right, right. Um, the way I see it, right? I mean, I don't think it's our position to speculate about things that are uncertain. Okay. You know what I mean? I think that we should just take it for face value. If the man said that he apologizes, take him at his word, and he apologized. And we should just move on simply. Okay. Um, now, what I would look at are some things <laughs> like, uh, okay, consider how... 
you know, other people have platforms and they've, you know, um, encouraged a lot of Alpo discussions and it's like revisiting this whole stuff. It's like, but I think the main reason why everybody's so uptight about him particularly okay. is because he and Alpo have some type of connection and he physically was with him and he put him on the camera. You know what I mean? Okay. And I think that is, and then, and then also the visitation and the um, the explanation of, you know, okay, this is where he got shot, this is where, you know what I mean? Because, like, Lil Gary, he from the one who hit it, who really, uh, you know, shot up uh, Lil Rich. Uh, Rich. Yeah. He's from D.C. Yeah. You know? He's the one that shot Alpo, I'm sorry, pardon me, pardon me. He shot Rich Porter twice with the three fifty seven, if I remember correctly. Right, and then after that, he said he's heard him still breathing, and he finished them all. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And at some point, um, Alpo had little, little Gary killed, yes? Had, had, had him shitting on himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, you know, because, you know, Alpo, cruddy like that, man. Listen, man, I know people who know Wayne Perry personally. Like, this yeah. is D.C., you know what I'm saying? It ain't a big city. You know what I'm saying? Um, I- they dragged little Gary's body into the woods naked. Yes? I mean, yeah. it's all coming back to me. All, all- <laughs> all, all, all this nigga shit is coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, penis, 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 uh, you know, fell off, the branches cut her off, you know what I'm saying? All types of wild stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? It's real, though, man. It's, you know, this is real life we're talking about here. And these are real people. These are, I mean, you know, like, these, like when I'm coming from the angle of D.C. See, you hear a lot of New York dudes talk, but y'all don't really hear D.C. dudes talk because we coming from a whole different angle. And, and you know, we... We, we, this story is still in our ears, too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you got to keep in mind, this is what he played. Mm-hmm. He came down here and played. Demencia was down here. Yeah. Demencia was cool with people down here. Right. And these are people that, I was too young, I was too young, but at the same time, I'm listening to the OGs. I'm listening to the people who owed it to me telling me stories, and it's like it's nothing. All these people know these people. In D.C., all these people just coming home. Now, hang on a second. If I can jump in. Now, um, back in the early 90s, from 1990 until 91, I was a national director of alternative R&B for Virgin Records. So I used to go back and forth to D.C., down there to Howard University. And uh, and I remember the, the feeling... Of, of the guys down there, they just, yeah. they, they would press you if you were from New York. I mean, they, they just weren't feeling, they, yeah, they weren't feeling New York people. Yeah. I remember having to tell somebody, quick, I'm from Jersey, not New York. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's still like that to this day. I mean, you know, New York and D.C. went to war. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas in New York who died down here, man. It's a whole lot. But at the same time, it's a lot of dudes from New York that came here and, you know, was allies and made money down here like Alpo did, you know what I'm saying, or Demencio or, or a lot of big names, you know what I'm saying, they, and they connected and they came respectfully. Okay. But you know what I'm saying, most of them, a lot of them dudes got killed, man. Yeah. A lot of them dudes got killed. Because, you know, New York dudes got a kind of certain swag yeah. where they think that they on the top. Yeah. And when they go everywhere, they don't realize where they're going at. And they tried to give Killer Cam that work. Sh- shot him up. What was he? He was driving something and he started dumping the steel at him. Hit him in the shoulder and the arms. Yeah, man, you know. Oh, man, now, I'm going to tell you, like I said, when you're talking about D.C. camera, he think that it... See, it's funny because you're coming from a D.C. perspective right now. You see what I'm saying? Like, my man told me he knew who did that. You see what I'm saying? But when you're coming from... And see, some of that stuff could trigger back to New York, and them New York dudes could find you in D.C. Yeah. And it, Hang on, sir. You just said your man is the one that shot Killer Cam? You just said that? Because my man know who did it, though. Oh, okay. You know I mean? Well, feel free to snitch. Come on, can you give us a name, please? Give us a name. Who shot Killer Kim? Well, I, I ain't going to give my name, but I go by, I go by Disciple of the Way. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Well, well now, hang on. Has, the, has, yeah, yeah. has Killer Cam's shooter ever been apprehended? Nah. Now, not to my knowledge. I mean, because, you know, this, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he came around, he, he, it was a wild damn drink. It wasn't no... It wasn't no sitting like a yeah. sitting duck waiting for the police to come get him. Right, right, right. Wham, bam, boom, he was out. But you're saying you know who shot him through through one of your mans in them. You know who shot him? I don't know personally, but like I said, in 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 my in my knowing, I know that that's not a DC hit. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, like I okay. said, it be dudes. It be see, starting out taking screenshots. Pay attention. You do it all over, man. And that's what I'm trying to say is, like, a lot of people be thinking, oh, that's some D.C. niggas who did that because it happened in D.C. Right. Nah, it could be your people in New York 
that came down in D.C. and got you. You feel okay. me? Okay. Well, listen, yeah. I, I appreciate the call. So let's you and I have a conversation uh, off the record. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of who shot Killer Cam because I, I never even uh, heard about that person being apprehended. But you know uh, some type of way to track that person down. All right, thank you for that information. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Let's start on his J-O-B. Hold on, hold on a second, boss. Well, let me make sure I got his number right here. Hold on. Nigga talk my I know who shot Killer. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Got him. Yeah, Snitch Network. We hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second, Ronnie. Hold on. I, I got to go to Super Chat. Uh, did I read Black Racist? Yes, I did. Thank you, sir, for your continued support. Coke Thoughts at 3 a.m. says, 100 Acre Woods. There's a dark-skinned uh, Boricua with black lips that's making beats, too. Okay. Uh, she's going she's to... Okay, uh, she's going to price match your beats. Okay, thank you, Coke Thoughts at 3 a.m. Okay, and I read Gemstar. Okay, and Hate is Enough, that was from the other day. Hold on a second, Ronnie. Mm, Dana with the smoke, where are you, Dana? Hang on a second, Dana, send the emails. Dana, can you call in and, uh, and, and not turn up too much? <laughs> Okay, Dana amping shit up. Oh, okay. Well, Dana, if you want to call in, shoot me a text, but I don't want to promote, you know, no, uh, no, no tension like that. Dana would smoke on the check-in. Um, is it Lavelle? Lavelle sends in a cash app. Mm. Nigga star finally got decent headwear on. T.I. sucks, okay. We're talking about the Eagles. Yeah, man. I've, I've always repped Philly. Come on. Come on. You've always seen me in the Phillies uh, hats, um, uh, the Flyers, Eagles. Come on, man. Thank you, sir, for your donation. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, Ronnie, you sent me something on Worldstar. What's going on, Ronnie? Um, so the rapper Little Dirt confirmed that Little Reese is okay. Okay. Because I think by grave condition, it was interpreted to mean sort of like touch and go, but okay. it looks like he's Okay. Okay. Are you a Lil Durk fan at all? You say you don't really know too much about Lil Reese. What about Lil Durk? I can't tell you about any of the Lil's, except mm. for Lil Baby. Just a little okay. bit about him. Okay. You, you never heard uh, Lil, Do Lil Durk, pardon me, and Dej Loaf, my Beyonce? Banging track. I don't, I know you like Dej Loaf, but <laughs> I just don't like her. <laughs> Whoa. Are you hating? She's weird to me. No, she's just weird. It's like, just be who you are. Stop, you know, playing this game. Is she, isn't she? I just, I don't know. She's just weird to me. So you don't like her bars? Or you, you, you're, what? I love her voice, I'll say that. And, and I like some of her bars, Dej Loaf. Nope. Yeah, I mean, her voice is different. It's very unique. It's not like really anybody else that's out, but I'm just, I'm not really into her whole vibe. I'd rather listen to Young M.A. or, you know, I'm just... Uh. Okay, okay. All right, hang on a second. Uh, okay, Elvis the Chef Rosenberg, good evening, sir. Okay, uh, hey, Matt, thank you for the cash app. I don't want to get in the middle of that thing with uh, Tyreek Nasheed and ADO West, but thank you, man, thank you. I try to, you know, promote everybody. I'm, I'm just too old to do that. You know, I just, I, I'm, I've just i been in such a great place, you know, over the last decade, if, if not more. And, um, you know, I, I think I've done enough of that over the years, you know, just amping shit up, stuff like that. But thank you again. Uh, Neighborhood Watch, good evening, sends in a super chat. Neighborhood Watch, I'm going to start sending cash apps, okay? Um, l let me look and check on super chat, Neighborhood Watch. Hold on a second. Where are you? Where are you? I do not see you via Super Chat. I'll take the time. I see um, Sugar G. Respectfully, F. Alpo. He killed a kid and was only able uh, to get out because it, was, uh, it wasn't a white kid. And F. A. D. Okay, he's talking reckless for ADOS unless they get something. Hashtag, I want mines. Okay. 
Alpo did not kill Rich Porter's younger brother. If you say that, then they're going to come at, come at me. Oh, yeah, I'll get it right. Get the facts right. But thank you for your donation. Uh, that's amazing. Sends in a super chat. Star, who would you choose to have a threesome with from this list? Elizabeth Warren, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, AOC, <laughs> uh, Katie Hill. I don't want to say. Uh, Kamala Harris, she's a good-looking woman, but uh, not my speed. Uh, AOC, she runs a mouth too much. She's like a twelve. <laughs> you know? Elizabeth Warren is uh, she she she's old, but uh, thank you for your uh, donation. Uh, that's amazing. Says check the video I emailed. Hold on a second, guys. I'm looking for the video. I don't see it. Uh, who is this? Um, somebody dead at forty three. Vlad TV. Okay, I'll check that out after the show. Right now, I just want to focus on what people are saying with regards to uh, tonight's topics, okay? Mm. Wow, somebody says, oh, that nigga from D.C. was talking way too much. <laughs> Snitch network in full effect, huh? Got to pull it out of these niggas sometimes. He was talking. Andre, uh, good evening, sir. Salute Storm calling in from area code 347. Hold on. Let's get you on the line. Uh Sleep at 7954. Any tag? Is that you? Good evening. Any tag? Hey, what's going on, sir? Hey. Salute, salute. How are you, sir? Salute. Good evening. Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't get the notification that your show started, but... um, That's a conspiracy against me. Uh, they're, they're trying to uh, stop me. Come on. Yeah, so here you go, man. I, I give it to you, Thank man. you, man. What's I, going on? I first... Find out about you from everyday struggle, but I mean, I'm from New York. I'm just mad I didn't know you were in Hot Night Seven, but okay. I am a little younger. So. Okay, what's going on with you, man? I'm good, man. Just trying to call some hoes, but okay. Hey, man. Now you say you say you're, you're, you're trying to pimp some hoes. You trying to knock some off? I didn't catch that. Hey, man, I'm not trying to incriminate nothing. I'm just trying to live a good life, man. Oh, okay, okay. But. Hey, I just wanted to um, promote my YouTube, too. I'm doing a, um, a 21 Day Detox, you guys. Come on. And I just uh, did. Come on. I you just... sent it a cash app. Come on and promote. I... Come on and promote. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, name of YouTube is um, Bang Time, B-A-N-G-G-T-I-N-E. And I just posted this um, second Detox Guide video, and it comes with meal planning as well. I break down, um, like, nutrient tallies with, um, with vitamins and minerals and everything, you know? Just. I do a damn thing. Well, hang on a second. Stay with me. Is it Bang Bang Time Videos? That's you right there? Yeah, B-A-N-G-G-T-I-M-E. Yep, oh, oh, two time. G's. Hold on a second. Hold on. Two G's. I, I just see... Uh... Ronnie, you there? Was Boss Chick Ronnie? Do you have time, Ronnie? Can you check this guy's... Um... Okay, there you go. Bang. Okay. Yes, I'm pulling it up. All right, so you've got three subscribers, and you've got two videos, yeah? Yep, just started yesterday. <laughs> Okay, so listen, I, I appreciate the donation. Maybe we can put uh, this link uh, at the top of the comments or something like that. Um, t tell us more. Tell us about this, uh, your page. I see you, you've got some type of papers. You're writing. What, what, what's going on here? Yeah, man, um, I do I do research um, because I don't have any, like, degrees or anything. I was, you know, I, I, I wanted to be a doctor at first. I wanted to be an um, invasive cardiologist, but I, I can't sit there in school for 15 years, so I, I like... I'm interested in, like, herbalism and, like, natural remedies and, like, aromatherapy and things of that nature. So okay. I thought I was just going to get a whole bunch of books and just and learn, you know, disseminate information so I can help out other people, you know? How old are you? And, and where did you get this knowledge from? Oh, well, I'm 23. Uh, I got interested in it because my grandma um, in Jamaica, she used to, she was a herbalist. She used to heal a lot of people. She was even um, helping a lot of people that had prostate cancer and stuff like that, curing them. Okay. So I was like, this is like real powerful stuff. Okay. Because I learned most about her when I went to a funeral, and that's when a bunch of people came out, and they had a bunch of testimonies. I was like, wow, this is like some real stuff. Okay. You know? Well, listen, who knows? I could be talking to the to the next Dr. Sabi. So uh, I appreciate your donation. Hang on. I'm going to bookmark your uh, your page here. 
and uh, I'm going to post this at the top of the other uh, comments. All right? Yeah, I'll, I'll send you an email too. I want to, um, you know, spend some money with you and get my banner up and things of that nature. That's what I want to hear. Exactly. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I really, I really appreciate the show, man. You're, you're the best. Thank you, man. I really do. I watch you all. Okay. Have a good evening, and I'll post this uh, at the top of the comments. All right. All right, salute. Take I'm care. Yes, sir. Salute. Okay. Hold on, Paul Chick Ronnie. A young man uh, on the come up. I can appreciate that, you know. He might be the uh, the new Dr. Sabi. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, who's this? Um, okay. Thank you for this uh, email, whoever you are. How are we looking on time, guys? Okay. I don't think we're going to have a long show tonight. Today's Veterans Day, in case you're just now joining the show. Uh, uh, we spoke earlier, and we saluted those uh, from the armed forces here in America. Thank you for your service. Okay, um, RJ Supreme, I got that one. Did you hate the call? Okay, Cook Thoughts, SGS, Bush Kid, Black Racist. Okay, I got all these. I got all these. Um, Cash App just came in. Desi and Dave. Hey, Desi and Dave. Thank you for your Cash App. Salute to you. Do you are you guys on um, YouTube? Let me see if I can find you. Ronnie, you ever heard of Desi and Dave? Huh? Uh, no. What'd you say? No. 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 What is that? Uh, I don't know. They just sent me a Cash App. I was going to see if I could Google them. Uh, Twisted uh, Twisted Tales TV. Maybe that's it. Twisted Tales TV. Thank you for your um, cash app. All right, Desi and Dave. I'll check you guys out after the show. Okay. And let me see here. We have a uh... star. This is CF from Philly. Peace. All right. Thank you, CF. Thank you for your, your cash app. Okay. Okay. All right. Bullshit money. I think we're done for tonight. Flushed out some of these topics. I appreciate your uh, your support. Anything else you want to mention as we close down? Uh, no, just I'll say it's Veterans Day, so I want to say salute to uh, Christopher Dorner. He paid the ultimate price. Yeah. And uh, I guess I thank him for his service. Okay. All right, Ronnie, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good evening, okay? You too. Take care. Take care. Bye now. All right, bullshit, Ronnie, helping me out. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow, uh, possibly tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow's um, Tuesday, and um, I'm not sure about a show tomorrow night, so I'll try and get one in uh, in the afternoon in terms of research, okay? Let me get Mr. Uh, Skylar Saunders' banner up first. Big supporter of the machine, and you guys have a good night. Be safe. Take care.